be prepared. You can say, well, you know, we're all anonymous. They're not going to get us. If they get one of us, there'll be ten other who, who stand up. Well, that's good for you, but how about the ones who get caught? Uh, I am concerned about that. I'm mainly concerned because you shouldn't be doing things that are illegal. You just shouldn't. It's not morally right, and it's, it's not right when Scientology does it. It's not right when, when we do it. Hello, Anonymous. I have been watching your campaign against Scientology since its inception, and have been impressed by your commitment and momentum in building a movement to confront this quiet evil that has for too long flown under the radar of the common man. I am inspired by your creativity and the speed and ease with which you have generated a distributed network of activists and contributors. But while I stand behind you, I cannot stand with you. I am not anonymous. I am known, and will be known. I have created this identity to help distinguish myself from your movement as I endeavor to provide a perspective from outside with an understanding from inside. Please do not misconstrue my concerns and criticism as attacks or attempts at subterfuge, as I only wish to remind Anonymous of its goals and the utility of its actions. You may consider me a superego of sorts, if that is not too grandiose a title to bestow upon oneself. Currently, there is much anticipation of the 10th of February and rightly so. Street protests are an excellent way of raising awareness of an issue and demonstrating the strength of public opinion. Guard yourselves, however, is so often the pretext of raising awareness is used to justify self-indulgent and ineffective protesting. How many Facebook groups dedicated to solving one hot button issue have used this same justification for their ineffectual existence? How many groups that you yourselves have mocked and raided? Remember this after February 10th. Raising awareness and adding to your angst is important, but only if there is something that comes after for these new recruits to do. Ensure that there are big plans for the period following February 10th. Letter writing campaigns. Engagement with legislators. Set clear goals and objectives that will have a meaningful impact on the church. This will allow Anonymous to stay on target and also stay motivated as it is able to track its wins and progress toward wins. Develop catchy anti Scientology slogans to attract public attention. So far, so many slogans have been about Anonymous. Joe Public does not care, nor does he need to, about Anonymous. He needs to care about Scientology. Cater for this in your materials. Similarly, do not forget your pledge that Anonymous is attacking the institution of the so-called Church of Scientology and not the followers of Scientology itself. Maybe an exception will be made in Mr. Crew's case, in light of his high profile, terrible films and role in the corruption of the Fresh Prince. But for the rank and file, remember that they, more than anyone else, are the victims of this organization. Do not use the memory of Lisa McPherson, a Scientologist unto death, as a cudgel to intimidate or taunt these people. Read the links provided with this message to educate yourself on the nature of the training Scientology recruits endure and the frustration and inadequacy many feel as they store and are forced to purchase more and more sessions. These are scared lonely people, however aggressively they may act. Silence the critics of your movement. Show that you are not in this simply to justify a hormonal urge for rebellion and destruction by reaching out to these people. Care for them. This may sound like a soft approach, but these vulnerable individuals are the foundation upon which the rotten tower stands. Crack that foundation and the fishes will run right to the top. Valentine's Day approaches. I recommend raids to distribute Valentine's cards to Scientologists as they leave their centers. Naturally, you will sign the cards as anonymous, in the tradition of the season. Also inscribe a message of comfort or a link to a website, that may help these people by letting them know that they are not alone, and that we are working to help them. In the coming times, 
the challenges you face and the tasks you undertake may require you to be less than anonymous. Do not deceive yourselves, and do not fear. While Scientology is indeed frivolously litigious, it is not your anonymity that protects you. It is your numbers. Just as your script kiddies overwhelm their web presence, so your activists will overwhelm their capacity to prosecute. Do not forget that other name you call yourself. You are Legion. And that is your strength. Do not forgive. Do not forget. Knowledge is free. I stand behind you. This is Flag in Florida, home of the highest level Scientology services. This is the Advanced Organization in Clearwater. This is St. Hill Manor, headquarters in the United Kingdom, and once Ron's home. This is the Founding Church in Washington, D.C. This is the International Ecclesiastic Management Center. This is the upper level and combined organizations in Los Angeles. This is Celebrity Center International in Hollywood. This is the Scientology College in England. And this is the Free Wind, Scientology's advanced religious retreat. In fact, there are thousands of Dianetics and Scientology organizations, missions, and groups spanning the globe on every continent and over 100 countries of Earth. And millions of Scientologists to be your friends and help you help yourself and others. Hi, this is Sean from Forum Antilles. Uh, you may be familiar with the films we made with regards to wastewater. We're currently making another one and we'd like to give you the chance to uh, give us your side of the story. Perhaps you could call me back uh, and we could come down and, uh, uh, and uh, have a small interview with you. You could tell us uh, your side of things. Look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, well, we keep trying uh, until we get hold of them. And uh, see what they. What we're endeavouring to do here is to talk to the boat, the vessel, the Free Winds, which we filmed uh, some four months ago. Uh, what we want to know is uh, what's their side of the story. If they, if it's really so harmless, and they really feel that they're not doing the environment any damage, then they really shouldn't mind talking to us about it and telling us why it's still going on. If, on the other hand, it's not as harmless as they say, then I think they should also give us an explanation as to why it is still going on. Well, that's what we're trying to do right now. Anyway, 